it's been quite a while since I did a video around this. It's a module based around the AD584K and it's a voltage reference so you can check the accuracy of your multimeters for example and it's currently set to 5 volts and this Vicky VC99 is showing 4.993 volts so uh, I was pretty pleased with the accuracy of what is a fairly cheap meter. However, since making that video, I've been really keen to check the current measurement accuracy of my meters as well. But when I've looked for a current reference source, I've drawn a blank. That was up until a few weeks ago when I found a new item on eBay. So here it is, and it's sold as a digital constant current source. It is only able to deliver between 4 and 20 milliamps, but it does claim quite a high accuracy. Let's have a look at the listing. Well, actually, it's been such a long time since I bought this, I'm struggling to find the exact listing I bought from, but here is another one, and it's a digital 12 to 24 volt DC, 4 to 20 milliamp signal source generator, constant current source general. And uh, these were about £8 when I bought them as well. So it says it's easy to use and easy to wire. Um, it's able to achieve stepless fine adjustment through a 5x360 potentiometer. Well, 5 turn potentiometer. And it can uh, fineness up to 0 0.01 milliamps operate freely. There's polarity protection. And the power supply can be 12 or 24 volts with a plus or minus 25% tolerance on that. But it uses very little power. This seems to suggest you can use it just a short across a multimeter uh, to test a multimeter. And it thinks you can use it for signal sources, regulating valves, light emitting diodes, etc, etc. Now I've removed the uh, removable terminal block here from the back because otherwise it doesn't sit very well unfortunately and that's partly because of this large potentiometer, uh, this five turn potentiometer uh, which has had a bit of a knock in transit hasn't it? That end connection there is very close to that middle one. There's not a great deal on the back of here, that's a 78M05 made by a company called Kia, so that's a 5 volt regulator, and uh, what's that up there? Yeah, so that's quite difficult to see, it's an STC 15W404AS, uh, presumably a little microcontroller there, and we've got an LM358, and pretty much that's it. Okay, so I've added some cables to the power connector here, this red and black one on the output, and on the input I've put a 5.5, 2.1mm uh, jack here, which I've bent up because, well, it doesn't sit very well this, and if it was sitting down here it would be very difficult, so um, I'm going to have to hold this, unfortunately. But it said that input was 12 volts, didn't it, with a 25% tolerance? Well, my solar at the moment is about 13 and a bit volts and it's showing there 4.95 milliamps there and uh, it's not flashing in real life it just seems to be an issue with the camera no it just seems to be the multiplexing of those uh, seven segment displays there which is uh, just causing a problem with my camera so let's turn this 5 times 360 potentiometer. So we've got all the way down there to 3.7 milliamps. And uh, if we keep turning it, we get all the way up to 20.1 milliamps. So without further ado, let's set it to, I don't know, 10 milliamps. And plug in a meter. Okay, so I've got my Vicky meter back here, and let's plug in to the uh, milliamp port there, and we're seeing 9.97, 9.96 milliamps. So uh, 
I'm fairly impressed with that. Is that a 0.4% discrepancy there? Well, I'm pretty pleased. Let's uh, roll this down a little bit, get my hand in the right place, and uh, try 5 milliamps. Well, that's pretty much dead on, isn't it? And perhaps we'll go to the very top and see 20 milliamps, 19.92 milliamps. That's not too bad. Actually, if I go all the way back down to the bottom again, let's go all the way down to the bottom and change it to microamps. So here we've got 3,700 microamps and we've got 3,694. Well, do you know what? I'm pretty pleased with the Vicky. Now, I thought it'd be interesting to see what the porta power meter said because I use this in quite a few of my videos. So on the output here, I've made a short and we'll have a look at the input. This may be the wrong way round admittedly yep so it's showing a negative current but that doesn't matter and at 10 milliamps well we're seeing 9.9 .9 milliamps over here i think it was showing 10 a second ago so that's pretty good and if we increase up to 18 19 20 milliamps there on the current source well, we're seeing 19.9 .9 milliamps here on the porter power, so that's pretty impressive. But what about at the lower level? If I turn this down, 5 milliamps there. Well, we're seeing 5.8, 5.9 it is drifting at this low level. And if we go all the way to the bottom, 3.7 milliamps. Well, the porter power's not detecting anything at that low level so uh, this is no good for the microamps really is it so the last little test i want to do is around the uh, dc clamp meter here from unity will it be able to detect such a small dc current so i've put it to uh, dc 6000 milliamps there sorry i haven't yet there we go now we're in dc mode we can zero it and that's just climbing up ever so slightly. The leads are shorted together. But no, look at that. We're seeing 49 milliamps there on the Unity when there's only 20 milliamps going through that circuit. Well, this was always going to be a bit of a tall order for the clamp meter because clamp meters are designed to measure large currents, not tiny little ones like this. So I quite like the digital 4 to 20 milliamp signal source generator constant current general whatever it was called from eBay. I've had pretty good fun playing with it and checking the accuracy of my meters. And it's also been able to highlight issues at the lower end of measurements. This porter pow for example struggles anything below 5 milliamps. Well that's useful to know in subsequent videos. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, if you have please give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.